All right, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we came here to this fortress, and I know it looked like we were actually heading in, and that wasn't some dickish, like, cliffhanger that I was doing. I've had multiple failed recordings in this area. Uh, every time I think I've beaten the game, and I think I everything's all good and dandy, it decides to totally stomp on my dreams, whether it being the, uh, file corrupting, or bits and pieces of it just going out of sync to a point where it's not even fixable anymore. It's very saddening to me. Like, beyond saddling. Saddling? Saddening? But what can I do about it? I have to re-record this again! The entire D of Chapter 8. Oh my gosh. So guys, I did mention there's a badge in this area. It's right up there. We cannot get there yet. That's later in progress in the story. So for now, the front door is locked and you can just head right over here and you will need to rearrange your badges a little bit for the enemies in this area. For example, I have fire shield and ice power on. I do not need either of those. I'll put the spike shield. I will take off the uh, mega rush, power rush, and close call since I don't plan on being in that kind of position. Instead, I'll put on dodge master. I'll be pulling out old trusty Goombario because guess what? Spoilers, we're getting into a battle. This guy, uh, these guys are not as annoying as most of the enemies in this area of the game. I'm not even gonna lie. They only have 8 HP, so this isn't an issue. This is a Koopa Patrol. They're elite Koopa soldiers. They're the highest ranked guards of Bowser's Castle. Max HP 8, attack power 4, defense power 3. In case you hadn't noticed, they're fitted with spikes. Don't jump on them. Don't tell them what to do, Kumbario. With their HP, when their HP drops low, they'll charge up power for one last stage attack. The power of their desperate attack is 10. They've also been known to call in reinforcements when they're in trouble. Don't underestimate these nasty Koopas, Mario. Okay. So... I probably should have just finished this guy off, but I didn't really want him to get attacked, and I just didn't think about it. And now Gumbario is officially useless to us. So, we're going to be showing off different party members that we don't normally use. Still deals one damage, since I don't have all my defense badges on right now. This guy gives us a castle key, and nothing really to do here because we already have the castle key we need. I should have thought of that I was a lucky Lester out. Oh well. But with this, we get into the castle. Sorry about uh, almost walking into lava right there. I was kind of looking at my recording to make sure everything's going well since I've had so many failed recordings at this point, it's not even funny. Um, with these guys, I'm kind of wondering who I should be using. I am... What's a good party member have all the time in this area of the game? Ignores defense. A lot of enemies have defense. Oh, come on. I was on top of you. And you missed anyway. How smart are you? Uh, let's just power bounce on you. And another thing I should mention... Uh, the reason I'm so, like, annoyed that I lost all of that recording was, A, it's, this is not a short chapter of the game. There's a lot of puzzles to do, and it's just, it can get really tedious. But more importantly to me, I had the best run of a super bounce. You will have no idea. I had freaking, like, 50 bounces in one go. It was the best thing in the world. The first fight against Bowser was fantastic. The second time I did this recording, it was not as good. This is my third time, by the way. And if this fails again, I'm going to be the most pissed off person. I just spam jump into him, and he just ignored it. He went, meh, who cares? Whatever. Now that they're all paralyzed, we don't have to be afraid of them. Jump on you now, and let's just have Want take one down, really quickly.
take you down as well. And focus? Wait, no, I didn't mean to focus. I meant to... Whatever. We're killing him anyway. I meant to uh, use my refresh move so I'd get back some of the HP and FP I'd already used. Oh well. Failed opportunities, right? Also, a lot of guys in this area of the game will drop items that you can use. Either the guys or there's plenty of items for you to find. You don't need all the items like I have, but against the final bat boss battle, you're going to want them because he's not exactly a pushover. Gotcha. Cut that out, it was only two more recoup patrols, nothing important. Nothing worth showing, at least. And this one's four, so I might as well show this. All the same, you know, it's kind of like, uh, what are you going to do? There's a lot of enemies, yeah, that's obvious, it's just... I guess I'm going to do Star Storm on them. I mean, I can waste uh, some star power here because I'm going to get plenty of time to charge in the future. And health is not really an issue at this point. See? Even better. They're not even going to attack me. No, I didn't mean to. Health is an issue because I'm an idiot. Uh, sure. Kill one. And I get more defense. Thank you, my lovely, for being so useful to me. See? Only 4 damage. That attack has 10 damage, if you remember. So it's not exactly something to laugh at. I mean, you know, it's a little bit laughable, but not exactly... Haha, <laughs> you're a weakling. More of like, haha, I have enough HP that I can survive 3 of you in a row. Like, 4 of you, if uh, the situation's right. Oh, we're gonna need Goombario? Dang it, I was trying to hammer him. That would've been ironic. You cloak. So what we get wrong? So what was more weed? I don't actually get drunk or smoke weed. That's not really my thing. Also, I'm not of a legal age to uh, get drunk. Here in Washington, though, you can smoke weed. Which is not my thing. Max HP, 12. Attack power, 5. Defense power, 1. Be careful of that hammer. If it hits you, it'll get shrunk in a week. When hammer bros get desperate, they'll hurl a ton of hammers, so watch out. These guys have been a pain for ages, so let's give them an old-fashioned whopping. As always, they're not to be taken to risk me, I almost messed up. So yeah, if you get hit, then you lose half your uh, attack power. It's not exactly fun. And... now you're dead. <laughs> exactly enough. Perfect. And with this, we find a chamber. <laughs> Welcome, worm! I'm called the Guard Door of Bowser's Castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario, let me guess. Do you want to go through here? Hmm? You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Well, yeah. Okay then, <laughs> stand in front of me. Uh, how about if I'm standing right no, I have to stand Are you standing square in front of me? Okay, then I'll let you go through. You know, let me go through the floor, jerk. Who didn't see that coming? Let's be honest. Gah! You fell for it, worm! 
You'll never escape from that pen penetrable prison. Try all you like. All you do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, let you go through here. How's that? Ha ha ha. I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. Yeah. Yeah. He really just did that. Also, I realized that since I have a full thing, this isn't going to work out. This is bad for me. Um... Guys, I know I said I would bring this with me, but... There's an animal who just knocks stuff over my house. Yay, doggies, how do you work? I know I said I would use this, so I'm using it even though I don't need it. Because in this block... Is a life shroom. The life shroom is an incredibly useful item that I want to have on me because I realize if I die, then I have to replay a lot. And if I during the final boss battle, well, that sucks. And knowing me, I'm probably gonna die. There we go. It's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material's weak. They're so much easier than the walls of the Cooper Brothers Fortress. You're really lucky to have me along, aren't you? That right there is actually kind of a hint as to what's coming up next. It's saying that, oh, hey, yeah, you think you're going to be, uh, uh, just doing everything yourself? Nope, you need to rely on your party members. So, guys, you can jump or... You can't... Apparently I can't. Apparently I can't jump across there. You can jump across there, but I'm not going to jump across there. Instead, I'm going to drop down here. And I want to point this out, that cloud looks so, like... It looks like it's giving me so much effort in this. So guys, I'm going to speed this up for a moment. I'm going to show you what's at the end of this lava path. Alright guys, we're back. So if you come all the way down here, then you can actually get the last uh, badge right here. This is the 80th badge and final one in the entire game. I can't equip it right now, nor do I really care to. And... You're actually supposed to come here once you do something else in the game. Also, I just realized something's up with my mic. and eh, it's whatever. You're actually supposed to do this when you do something else in the game that's coming up. But sadly, honestly, I don't care. I really don't. It's not interesting to me. And you notice the block that we passed back there? That's another life stream. So if you have another open slot or you want to drop one of your items for it, that's, you know, go for it. Uh, but I'm not going to... Oh, wait, no, the block is right here. We did pass it on the way, but I thought we already passed this. So, you'll see in just a few minutes what I mean by, oh hey, yeah, uh, uh, we could come here and it'd be faster, but for now, let's jump across here, jump across here, jump across here. Just get on paracarry since, you know, paracarries me. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, you're just supposed to be able to platform, but apparently I'm not doing good at platforming today. You think, I thought I was good at 3D platformers, but no. And then you ride Lackalester over here to hit that. Ride Lackalester back. And now you're up here, waiting for this little block to come across. Honestly, in this area, I've done this so many times already that I'm kind of impatient. I did a little practice thing. It's my first... Uh, freaking uh, recording session which went really well for the most part until it crashed and then the second one which went really well until it crashed yeah I'm really unlucky ever since that first Pokemon Mystery Engine let's play it seems like everything has been going downhill with my luck like I even tried to do this before the uh, freaking Paper Mario game I know I mentioned it earlier but this was my first let's play it failed so badly it destroyed like seven eight I think it was like eight episodes I'm not sure it just destroyed so much footage that I would have had to replay the entire game again for like the fourth time or something I wasn't about that I should have just ridden him across again pair carry carry us again pair carry carry us across again I don't trust my ability to jump all right now you have to have pair carry carry you all the way up here, and you'll have some useful items back there. They just give it to you so long as you've done something else. You can't do that thing yet though. And if you switch over to bow, then you can go transparent and be like, "Yeah, what are you gonna do about me?" And final thing, pair carry. I think this is the point where 
yeah, right up here is going to be the uh, thing I mentioned earlier, the thing we had to do to make it go faster. Head in here. And just head all the way over here. We're going to use Cooper? Cooper. Wait, well, just a minute. I wonder, is there a way to check Cooper's attack power? Or, uh, especially attacking enemies on the ground. I can't actually check his power. Though I think it's four, he should be enough for this. Uh-oh, Mario's right there! Now what are we supposed to do in this situation? Kami Koopa's told us something, but I'm drawing a total blank. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh, no. Do you think that means we have to fight him? No! He wiped the floor with us! Stop your belly aching! Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad! Whatever happens, we can't let him push this switch. Don't you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this plumber! Show him what you're made of. We have no choice. Gotta be brave. Gotta be... Attack! So, I'm just gonna be cheap about this and do Star Storm. And I know I haven't scanned that, uh, the Magic Koopa yet. I don't really care to at the moment. Instead, what I care about is killing all of them. Because this battle can be a little bit uh, dicey if you're not careful. So I figure just show the best way to kill them all at once. Break that, or at least hit that switch. And just like that, We've actually turned off the lava flow. Hey, that lava hardened when it cooled off. Now we can walk across it. Let's go, Mario. So like I said, there's a way to do this way faster. When Paracarry... When Car... Par what? When Lackalester is carrying you across, uh... Pretty much... I don't really know what to call them. Surfaces that are dangerous to you, he actually goes a lot slower. Now we're just sailing across at max speed and there's not a single care in my world. So if we head back to this previous room, you might have noticed I didn't even really make note of it, but there's a door back here. And this door actually has the key to that door up there. It's kind of a smart way of doing things, like they hid it in a place that they knew we couldn't get to without serious uh, work, fighting an entire squadron of them. But once again, I don't care about the items that were on the blocks up here, so yeah. Not that useful to me, mystery while a really good or bad item, depending on your luck. And Thunder Rage, which is a really good tackle item. I have a better one on me, which is the Shooting Star. And honestly, I'm just not that into you guys. I have too many good items on me to waste uh, my spots on you. And now we switch over to Watt. Watt will light our way. And we have to use Watt here, even if you can see in the dark, you can't fight in the dark. It'll, you'll be unable to attack enemies due to the darkness. So these guys are decently powerful. So I'll just jump on this guy. That should be enough. I think they have 8 HP, but I can't tattle them right now thanks to the fact that, you know, I can't switch over to another party member. So there is a battle coming up after this cavern where we'll be able to fight them. So I should be able to tattle them then. Also, guys, uh, I'm going to have to be right back. My dog's uh, starting to whine, and she needs help with something. So I'll be, you know, back for like a half second for you and like probably ten minutes for me. All right, guys, I'm back. So uh, it wasn't anything that important. It was just my dog going like, oh, hey, I need out. And I was like, oh, well, if that's all, then I guess I'll just grab a donut and a little bit of milk and be on my way. So I grabbed a donut and just scarfed it down with a... Uh, glass of milk. It was really delicious. So if you head up there you can actually get an item. I think that one is just a super shroom? I'm not actually positive on that. Oh, really? I thought. 
So, I think I'm gonna skip by. The no, I should show off this battle. Why not? Uh, that's not a good party member here. I need Watt. Okay, so. Yeah, not a fun battle to be in. So, I'm wasting more FP. I'm actually at about at a point where I can get more HP and FP pretty easily. Boom, deaded. These guys are by no means difficult at this point. As long as you're as powerful as me, you don't even need to be as powerful as me. I am way too strong for this area of the game. I kind of feel bad about getting this strong, but you know, I need to show off everything. And sometimes that just means you have to do all this. So hey, more lovely is kicking in and giving us a bunch more coins. Not that we really need coins anymore, but thanks anyways, Merlo. You're so lovely, you know that? Use Paracarry and you can get across this fairly easily. And I think I want to have Watt out just in case I get hit by an enemy up here, which I figure I'm going to. I always have issues with these ones. They're kind of huge butts. Um, I'm more worried about the bony beetle, to be honest. And I'll just damage you. For all the damage. And now bony beetle flips up. Okay. Um... I kind of wish I had some attack roll item that wasn't really extremely powerful, then I would waste it, but I'm not going to waste it here. Kill the bony beetle, not a problem. Kill you in one hit, not a problem. And of course he calls for backup because he's kind of a wimp. A wimpola, or I don't really... I think a wimpola is something like bullies used to say back in like the 19-somethings. I'm not exactly positive. Also, I don't know why I bothered charging up since it was only one uh, damage. And he's calling in another one. This is why Koop Patrols suck. You can have an infinite spawn of Koop Patrols. Unless you decide to damage him so you can get him to do his charge attack. Oh, and he missed. He's dead. You try to attack me. Now you're of the dead. Bye. And the puppy just entered my room, and she's sitting there sniffing my stuff, interrupting my recording. Juliet, what are, what are you even doing, Juliet? Oh come on! Now now she's like love me and hitting my desk. Ah, uh, Ju Juliet. Fine, this is a nice time to stop. Just a moment. Alright guys, I'm back. So, the puppy just needed upstairs and get her a little treat. She gets forward bed, but, you know, she's... She's dope. Alright, I'm just going to get you. Make you put your spikes away. In my opinion, it's a good strategy to do. You know, just deal with them right then and there. So they can never really damage you for much damage. Wait, did I just... Nah, sure, it's nothing. I just think I saw something, but never mind. <laughs> Alright, now, head up here along the middle one again. I know one of those is a, uh... I think one's like a Super Shroom and one's like a... Star Storm? I think... I think that's how that works. Now you switch over to Watt, and you're gonna need him, her, him. I always get confused because I swear they 
call these characters two different genders, and it just baffles me. Now, I'm going to use Mega Shock once again. So they're all the dead. Uh, jump up. Oh, thanks, more lovely. Yeah, actually, that's a good timing. He is the hell of the dead. That second hit actually did his max HP all by itself. Uh, deal more damage right here. Oh, come on. I thought that was enough. There. Figure each one of us attacks them once with our best attacks, and now they're all the dead. We even leveled up from that, now that I think about it. I didn't even notice that. Uh... FP... HP... HP. Why not? I just leveled up. I don't need that. I mean, it's nice healing and stuff, but, you know. Okay, so guys, you're supposed to come up here if you come all the way up here, you might think you're supposed to go across there, but you're not. You're actually supposed to drop down here. It's a little trick. And you can just run into this guy instead of attacking him like I should have. Once again, Mega Shock! It's not a problem, guys. It's, it's perfectly okay. One guy down. Another guy down. Oh, I should be talking, shouldn't I? I totally didn't think about speaking words of the English. <laughs> oh well. I guess the battle's already over, so I don't really need to commentate, but I'll think they should have been talking there. I'm just a little bit out of it. It's kind of late, and I should be, you know, focusing. I should be doing this during the day, but my family's just kind of being obnoxious lately. They never give me, like, a moment's rest. They're constantly just bickering and just in my room yelling or asking me something or trying to shove food down my throat because apparently food's a big thing here. Whoa, huh? You came back? You escaped from the underground jail? But there was no way you could escape! Urgh, of all the dirty tricks, I guess I have to keep my word you can go through. Urgh, but don't think I'll forget this! So guys, before we head through, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 64, we're going to be moving on Bowser's Castle. There should be about two episodes left in this uh, series, and then we're going to be moving on totally finished. Like, completely done with the series. We've already 100% of everything besides the main story. I mean, we're so close, guys. We can do this, right? I'm, I think we can do this. So guys, I'll see you guys next time.